folks, welcome to uh, yet another lightsaber review. This is the uh, four sabers, I think it's just four sabers now. Uh, the uh, four sabers clone, which uh, I bought and unboxed actually, uh, see, well, was many months ago at the start of the year. I forget which month, but uh, here it is. It'd probably be the last stunt saber I get actually for my collection. Because uh, I suppose I just evolve into that point of uh, just getting the same versions and uh, it's it's just going to go that way, I think. Of course, I might be wrong. <laughs> Something might come up and I go, ah, I wouldn't mind having that. But uh, here you go. Clean saber with the white blade, which I choose for this one. On a side note, actually, four sabers have stopped their whole range of uh, budget sabers, which is basically the uh, stunt sabers. So uh, I was just about lucky in uh, getting one of these before that line stopped. But I've got lots of new hilts in there, some uh, crystal reveals. Definitely well worth checking out, but uh, I'll uh, get on to review before I get too much on the tangent. So, uh, there won't be uh, a loss going on electronic wise because, of course, it is a stunt saber, but as you can see, it's a nice bright LED in there. And I thought choosing white would be uh, quite a good choice for this. Is, uh, it suits this house perfectly, I think. So uh, I'll do the uh, little bit of a tour I tend to do on these. Starting with the uh, pommel area, which, uh, as with four sabers, you have the kind of the bung situation. I might have changed the newer ones. So I'll uh, find out in not too distant future. That would be solid, of course, because no speaker. That's, that's basically uh, like a black base on the end. Should have hammered that in a bit more. But uh, that's pretty much, as you see, sort of black area here. It's uh, quite a uniform shape generally, isn't it? Sort of uh, this area, the main body of it is metal is covered, I think. It's texture of leather, I'm not sure if it is leather or plastic, I can't, I can't say for sure. It's definitely a, a textured feel to it, I'm not sure if you can see the texture in the camera in the white areas. It might come out in the editing, I might see it then. Otherwise, just have to take my word for it, it's that kind of leather kind of texture. Got the two kind of... Uh, Grip pads, I suppose you could call them. These are the uh, firm plastic. Seems to have a bit of a woody kind of texture. And there's the AV button. It's actually placed on the bottom. But uh, it's, that's quite a good placement, actually, although a lot of uh, lightsabers have the button at the top though i've had them sometimes on the side on the bottom and they work just as well maybe better actually it depends how you hold them there and uh, it's got the uh, slanted emitter here you have a popular slanted emitter and it's, it is metal definitely it's uh, completely covered in the various plastics so a real neat job of it too of course, got the uh, we should call them the little uh, D ring kind of uh, thingy there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I suppose that pretty much sums it up. But it does look and feel very good. Definitely well worth having in my collection, and I, I think the. Yeah, general gist of this on the name clone I think it's with the black and white of a color scheme it 
it's with uh, either clone armor or stormtrooper armor in mind. And uh, with a white blade, it fits it like a glove, really. And it goes slightly out of focus there. Yeah, this is a 32 inch blade. So, uh, it may seem a bit shorter, it's set. Uh, there's a real nice uh, blade hold area. I think there's a word for that, I've completely forgotten what that word is, but uh, yeah, what I mean. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice. Sort of, you can hold these as these make good offhand saber if you had two of them. Be very good for dual wielding, of course. When these were being sold, there was the option of a staff option having two of these linked together. That's uh, yeah, look, looks good on the wall, and uh, it's uh, great to wield as well. Overall, if I have indeed finished with the uh, stunt sabers, I think I finished them on uh, quite a high point. So, uh, I think that's all I've got to say on that. It's this one I've sort of uh, had my eye on. I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. I'll um, denied and uh, get one, and uh, eventually I went for it. So, uh, it'd be the same actually for the next four sabers, which I've got an order. That's one of the same ones. It'd be a couple of months before I. Uh, get that one but uh, that's definitely when I've had on order you know when I've had my eye on for a while uh, yeah I, I think I've said everything I need to say on this if anyone's bought any four sabers or any other kind of lightsaber I'd be curious to hear about your uh, your lightsaber purchases and collections. So feel free to uh, mention those in the comments or uh, your comments on this saber. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, especially if you've gotten this far. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.